This is Griffith's electrodynamics problem 5.16. We've got two solenoids here, um, a large one of radius B and a smaller one of radius A. They both have the same current, but they do have different uh, turns per unit length. All right, so sort of a, a density of how, how many uh, times the wire is wrapped around them. All right. And of course, the, the current is going in different directions. So for the uh, smaller one inside, it's going around like this. And for the outer one, it's coming around like this. <coughs> so that's important for our right-hand rule. Um, now we're going to just use the uh, magnetic field. Um, this is the magnetic field inside a, uh, um, a solenoid. And uh, I guess uh, I have this written as z hat, so that would, uh, using the right hand rule, using this z hat, that would, this would apply for the uh, the red one. All right, uh, for the green one, we'll get a minus sign because the current's going in the other direction. So our question here is, what are, what's the magnetic field in these three regions, meaning the outside of both of the solenoids? the space in between the two solenoids and then the space in the very center. <coughs> um, we note that inside the solenoid uh, the magnetic field is constant, all right? So there's no uh, radial dependence um, once you're inside, uh, you know, from, from a given solenoid. So let's go ahead and uh, just find the magnetic field in these three different regions. Uh, how about way out here on the outside? Well, the since the field outside along solenoid is effectively zero, there is no field contribution from the red and no field contribution from the green. So let's write outside both. B is equal to zero. So that's nice and easy. <coughs> How about inside uh, red? Outside green. Okay, so inside red and outside green. Um, the green one is still contributing zero because we're outside of it. Uh, so all we have now is the red one to worry about. And uh, by the right hand rule, uh, because the, the current is going uh, around like this, the field will point this direction, which is the z hat direction. And uh, since we're only inside the red solenoid, only the red uh, N is going to matter. That, that is N2. So the magnetic field, just using our solenoid equation right here. Let's be a little bit fancy and put the N part in uh, red. Give, a, give ourselves a little synesthesia going on, okay? And the, and and this uh, this magnetic field is in the z hat direction, right? By the right, right hand rule. All right. Inside both, so inside red, inside green. All right. We still have the same contribution from the red one, because uh, inside the solenoid, the, the, the field from that solenoid is uniform. Okay, so I'm just going to write out the exact same equation for that part. But then we have another component for the 
green one. This time, of course, the, uh, the turns per unit length is different. And so that is reflected in this formula. And also, because the current is going in the other direction, the field is pointed the other way, so minus c hat. So this can be written out at, if we bring out the mu naughts and the i. Um, as just n to minus n1. All right, so here is the magnetic field for the space in the very middle inside both of our solenoids. It's still uniform. It's just uh, the sum of 